We're gonna find out now. Yes, that's what. We, hopefully this thing runs, and we figure out if power steering. We gotta figure out what's going on. We gotta, we gotta figure, figure out what's going on. How neat is that? Yeah. It's cool. yeah I mean, you said they're like $300 a piece. Yeah, maybe. What, because they got Dale Earnhardt on? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's 305 a piece. <laughs> and 10 more horsepower. Probably more than yeah. that, to be honest with you. So this here is the engine. We saw it in the last video. Got it sitting in the hole. We are hoping to get this thing fired up here momentarily. Is, it, is that going to happen? We looking good? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I think we got all our parts in. We've had our parts you know just chasing yeah, them around been, that's been deal. the story of the week basically just trying to make sure we had everything we needed yeah. so this is our bristol setup here betty with what i'm referring to as the dell engine y'all saw in the last video it's got they got them turned over but the valve covers got dei dell and hard incorporated on them so we bought this thing used for bristol well because our other sb2 uh, that we got at the end of last year wasn't going to be ready quite in time for bristol and we're committed to going to bristol so so we found this thing, good little piece, big piece, 465 cubic inches. And now she's in there and we're hoping to fire it up today. Over here we have, this is Faithful with the drain in it. Looks like we robbed the fuel log off of it. But this thing, I think we're going to get on it hopefully at some point today. We're going Southern Raceway this weekend with it, with the Southern All-Star. So we'll be racing it this weekend. Uh, at some point today, hopefully, we'll be pulling off of this car and then getting back over here for this weekend to get ready to go. So and then this will be so Bristol next what week. What rotations you think you made with it? I probably made one whole rotation, but I kept going back and forth. Any hard spot where you just felt everything? There was one okay. hard spot when I first got onto it, but it's gone now. Yeah, so either rings are gone or two. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, out. yeah. We'll so out. this motor is fresh, 21 laps since fresh. But that was like that was 2019. 2019 yeah. yeah, so it's been sitting for a little while. Yeah. So she we're hoping for the best. Yeah. But it sounds like we're ready to put some oil in it, prime it up, get a radiator, a right side header, put the valve covers on it, and throw fire to that thing. Uh, oh, it's pretty. Uh, Speaking of Bristol, that's where we're going to be running that thing. It's the Bristol Dirt Nationals, and you can watch it all live on XR. It's going to be two weeks of racing. Uh, we'll be racing in the super late model portion, so you'll have uh, four 50,000 to win events, two the first weekend, Friday, Saturday, and two the second weekend, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, but all through that, you're going to have support divisions racing uh, during the week, Tuesday through Saturday. A uh, bunch of cars, really fast on Bristol at the Bristol Dirt Nationals. XR has you covered, watch it all live. Check them out, we'll leave a link in the description where you can sign up and watch it all live on XR. Y'all hear who else is uh, coming to Bristol? Cletus. Cletus is coming. We heard uh, Cletus McFarland has a, a stock car ride for Bristol. So nice. that'll be interesting to see old Cleter on the dirt track at Bristol. We're almost out. <laughs> hey, as <laughs> long as you got enough. Let's see, I might. It's coming together, boys. Hey. Things are going well. Yeah. Shh, don't jinx it. Yeah. Don't jinx it. Yeah. Okay, so I did want to really quickly, while we're tidying up, show y'all our oil lines. Remember in the last video, we got the pump in there. Uh, video before that we put the tank in and now we got all our lines run the black lines uh, all from John all that come from Jones right yeah Jones racing products pulleys and well. and we got pulleys but hooked us up on a short notice yeah real quick notice see all that that's what I was talking about when I said two and a half miles of oil line run all through here and the, the cool thing about <clears throat> these I don't know if it's like this with everyone or not but the Jones stuff is uh so simple they just they send us the lines and the fittings we want and we put it all together right here in the shop right and you don't need nothing you don't never really need very many tools you know to do it with and it's a you know pretty cool little system they have there how you put it together and 
Simple and easy. I really want to say that it is way easier uh -huh. than push on. <laughs> yeah, like, we have. Y'all yeah. remember this has been a while ago, but we had like a 30 minute clip of Jesse trying to get a line on a fitting. It was ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to video that, but I didn't. I wasn't able to make it happen. But soon, next time we make some lines, we'll make we'll video that. Either way, shout out to Jones for a quick turnaround and getting us the, the materials here to get our oil lines run. We're gonna try this new priming system as well. Oh, yeah. Here we go. You sure we got them all tight? They're tight. Okay, we'll find out when we prime it, huh? There's the primer right there. How we, oh, y'all, did y'all get a drill for that? Yep. A little 90, 90 drill? drill? Okay, we put it on that. We'll get to that in a minute. Here's a look at all the lines on this side. We're gonna dump all four of these in there. We were able to find Rotella. Oh, they had like, come find out they had a crap ton of it. I thought they only Did had you buy seven. it all? Well, that, well, I asked them how much they had because there were seven on the shelf, so mm -hmm. I got it all. Mm -hmm. Then they said they had like Went 90 something. Back. So oh, I'm like, I you know what, go ahead and give me another one yeah. so I can have eight. There you go. This is uh, four gallons, by the way, going in here. Hey, look at it, it came with a bit. Yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> this is uh, we're moving up in the world today. Oh, you're they, with that. They, I don't they, think it's supposed to. They accidentally that. did that, yeah. <laughs> or someone returned it. Something. Not only do we have a new fancy priming system for our dry sump oiling system, we also have a 90 degree drill hit uh, going on here. Brand new. Super fast. Whoa. Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, watch for leaks, oh, boys. Someone. You gotta hold that. Okay, okay, okay. Who's who's watching what? I'm watching the oil pressure. Gauge. Gauge. Okay. I'm watching to make sure we Don't push this back this there. where it goes, not all over the floor. Jordan's got another line over there. You ready? Joseph's spinning. All right, y'all y'all watch for leaks. Yes, yes. What? There is a direction on which way you spin it. Okay, spin it right. You you better push oil in. Spin it this way. Out. So you're gonna be tightening with the bit drill bit. Mm -hmm. Give us something nice and new and watch us not know how to use it. I'm getting oil. Whoa, 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 whoa. Making a mess. Woo. Making a mess. Oh. Making a mess. Why are we making a mess? Because we're running out of room. Oh yeah, that's a mess. Look, point it down the dang. Well, I got rocker. a camera in my hand, Jesse. Here, you take that. Me and the me and the viewers will watch the oil pressure gauge. Did you get any pressure? Yes. Okay. We got 20 pounds. All right, got pumping. All right, she's pumping on up. We up about 30 pounds right there. All the push rods, no, not all of them. I got one, one, two. Uh, I'm waiting on two. I'm right waiting now. on two. This got them. Okay, we're going. to Say it's good. Got oil pressure. I see oil. We're oiling. Sure. We're, gonna, we're gonna put our Dale Earnhardt valve covers on here and be maybe ready. prime it some more and fire it up. Just well, we gotta put a radiator in. Getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, I think so. Hey, I wasn't the only one made a mess. Yeah, well, this is water. All right, we got water, power turning fluid, dangling fuel. Need some fuel. Fuel. High octane base racing fuel. Oh yeah, we're pouring some in the tank too. Yeah. Last time we ran this car, we was running great with the E85. About to get loud in here, I hope. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to spin. Bend it over. Get old pressure. Plug it out. Just kind of bump it around a little bit. Let's just kind of see what we like bumping it. All right. You put WD in there, didn't you? It's blowing it out the board. Go ahead. Any leaks? We got pressure yet? No. Oh. All right. I 
think we're in pretty good shape here. Jordan's putting our plugs back in and we'll be ready to fire this thing. In the last video, a lot of y'all were asking how much horsepower this thing has. It is uh, gonna be in the high 800 range, right? So it's gonna be similar to the other SB2 that we were running, uh, just with a little more cubic inch, a little more torque, uh, definitely more horsepower than the Dream. It's in the low to mid 800 range, so. Those are cool, I guess, huh? Yeah, they're great. It's time! Okay, fingers crossed, eyes peeled, prayer said. You ready? Know, are we really ready to do this, guys? I was thinking about this. <laughs> That's just, everybody think, everybody just think for a second. Got kill here, yep. Ready? Um, <sighs> spin it over. When then let's just don't turn the switch on. Let's just. Spin it over. Okay. Go well, the motor spinning over with compression. Yep. Let's Who? Joseph. Check. Let's do that a couple okay, times. Did you get more. anything there? Nothing. No Not fuel pressure. Am I have an issue there? Still ain't got no fuel pressure. All right. Got a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> yes. All right, this this is the time. All right, all I'm doing is holding the camera and watching for leaks. Oh, right. I'll do it. Dozer, you got the switch and you watching for you oil watch pressure. Okay. Ready? Hold on. We going to be pumping a few times? Just hold on. It's got some fuel in it. Let's see what it does right here. I'm scared. <laughs> uh -huh. Seats out of the car brand. Right. Let's right. check and see if there's fuel up to the car brand. Check it because if it is, I don't know how much pressure. All right, no fuel there's pressure. Fuel. There there's fuel. fuel there. We got fuel. It did move yeah, a little bit. We got fuel now. So I just don't know uh, how much you want it has me to. The well, let's, let me adjust on. All right, so if y'all remember, uh oh. I think we talked about this when we pulled the crate engine out of here. We got a problem with our fuel pressure gauge. We think, and the new we got a new one coming, but it ain't made it yet. We think we're all right. We probably got fuel pressure, uh, but we did see while we were looking a little bit of an oil leak. So we're gonna try to identify that as we crank it back up Look, right it here. Looks like there's a crack ton of oil all over the place. See it? All right, I, we'll, we'll see. We gotta crank it back up. Right, well, it's coming it. off the belt somewhere. So something's splashing onto the belt. It's flaming. So we gotta find our oil leak we will. while it's running right here. pressure issue <laughs> did it go to leaking again Did i see another puddle right there it's leaking for sure okay this, this light's dead. we didn't get an eyeball on i don't know why see if you can see where that hole's going from over there try it again you ready yeah Yeah, 
it's running out of what you're filling the yeah. bowls with. I put two rounds in it, it didn't change nothing. I put one round back out. Yes, both barrels front and back. What you reckon? Why is it running out? Okay, situation here is we, our fuel pressure gauge is bad. So we don't want to go to cranking on the fuel pressure here. We obviously got a fuel issue, but we don't want to go to cranking and dealing with it until we get a fuel pressure gauge. It is across town. It got delivered for today. Two weeks. Yeah, well, it's like everything else. You, you get it when it gets here. So it's across town waiting on us. We're gonna go pick it up. And as far as our oil leak goes, this is fuel right here from where um, we were messing with the line. But as far as our oil leak goes, we can't really tell what the heck's going on until we can get her to run and stay running for a little while. All right, so a lot has transpired since the two, two hours ago that we last talked. This is our old truck. Y'all make it? Did we get a fuel pressure gauge? Yes, yeah, so he's George putting on right now. Right now. This is our old truck. We're gonna have to use it this weekend. All right, so this is the old truck. We, uh, we, what a lot of people were asking, where's the old truck, where's the old truck? Cause we got a new truck. Here it is, it's back. We had to take our trailer and get the brakes fixed. Are the brakes fixed? I don't smell them. So I guess they're fixed. So we're good to go now, but our other truck has to have the air lines run out the back of it for the air brakes. So that means we're using this trailer, or excuse me, this truck this weekend Hopefully we'll have our new truck ready for Bristol. And as soon as we know it's ready to go, then we'll let y'all know uh, about selling this one. For all everybody that's been asking about, about this rig, we will be selling it, but we gotta get our new truck ready first. Nice. All right, we got a new gauge and lights and everything working. Okay. New, okay, new fuel pressure gauge installed. Hopefully we can, uh, I think we're gonna do some fuel pressure adjusting and we didn't want to do it without the gauge. So, yeah, yeah, we all <laughs> So to recap, we had fuel pressure issues and we had an oil leak. We were trying to figure out both of those. But the motor cranked up and ran. It did, it fired right up. It did. So, it that's a plus, we'll see what, uh, see what we got here. Carburetor. I don't know. It didn't I'm gonna stay there. I don't know. I'm gonna back it back. You just, off. Yeah, you just turned it a bunch. I don't know. I'm gonna back it back. So what did the fuel pressure do? As soon as we crank it up, it shot up to like nine, but it's going up, but it got to about nine, and then it just filled it up. And then quit. Or did it, okay. All right. Ready? Crank attempt number five hundred eighty-two. Take. We got pressure because it's, you're filling yeah. the fuel, the carburetor up. Yep. When all that runs out, we ain't getting fuel. Okay, so yeah, I think our fuel pump ain't no good. We're no. thinking the back pump, the fuel pump right here is our issue. We're about to check and see if we got power steering. Yeah, we try to Clearly the, the oil run. part of it's oh, working. No, I don't think so. Here, yes. All right, hold on. That? We're checking. Ready? Yeah. We're watch, seeing if we got put the power steering sure that pump circulates working. Is all we need to Go do. ahead. Let me get a steering pack. Right, ready? Yeah. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't 
have nothing then. Right. We don't okay. have power steering or fuel. Okay. All right, so the red part up there is oil. The gray part is power steering. The black on the back back there is your fuel. The power steering and the fuel pumps are not working. Shaft strip? No. No. You want me to look in here? Yeah, look in the back of the pump. No, there's nothing stripped in here. I don't see a key. I don't see a key though. All right. Break, um, break that line loose up there. Uh, see if we're carburetor. pumping anything up there at the carburetor, or see if you get fuel pressure. Let me see about the carburetor. Yeah, it's pumping. Really? It's like pumping. Put okay. your thumb over. Pumping it's really good. Yeah. yeah. So, so put that back on and go to the fuel yeah, pressure. Yeah, put okay. that back on and see if we get fuel pressure. Okay. I got you. Okay. See you later. I'm, I'm watching. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, check it. You ain't getting nothing. Yeah, it's probably faster. Oh, oh, right, oh, we're up to six. Up to. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get pressure here because now I can't turn. Yeah, we, well, it went up to six pounds right there. Okay, so that's, that's good. Yeah. Well, but. So. <laughs> but, yeah. We're they just hold that, we're going to crank it. Yeah. <laughs> hold that bump. Yeah, you got drill. <laughs> you keep working that time. Need to do. Need keep to Get me a drill in the extension. Yeah. I'll reach over here and just. Yeah. Bump there you it, go. You know. That, that'll be your throttle. Yeah. How much you pull the drill yeah. trigger. Look at that. Jesse's going to need a seat under here. You going to ride what we put? It's a rat strap. What we going to do is. You got to put grease on it, Jesse. You ain't got no grease. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Here. Grease. All right. So we're putting grease on the shaft. All right, Jordan. Show it in there. the shaft. <laughs> to see if we're reaching. I yeah. guess. That's as far as it'll go. Okay, yeah. I'll pack it out. Shaft's not touching. Well, I take that back. It looks like it did. It is. Look in the other part. Wipe it off and do it again. Look in the other part. I don't tell you if there's, there, there's, there's grease in there. There. There's grease in it. Okay, well there you so go. So it's, it's hoving up. You got the back of that fuel back tight? Yeah. Yeah. Check yeah. that line that Justin just checked. I think it's tight. Yeah. It's tight. Yeah. It's tight. All right, we're back together. And we're gonna try it again. I don't. It, let's see if it does. If it'll run without it. Looks look good now. Ready? Yeah. Started at three and eased to zero. That's weird. Basically, all it did was use up the fuel that we had pumped in there. Question is that shaft that runs in the pump from the oil pump out. Is it a, like? Is there a problem? Obviously, the oil pump working just fine. Mm -hmm. So say if I say if we got a power <laughs> steering pump, bought a, a new a new power steering pump on it. And a fuel pump. No fuel pump. But the fuel pump on here is what we're talking about fuel doing. Fuel pump on there. Like a normal will that, block mount. Will that fix us? Yeah. Yeah. That hey, yeah, there's fuel over there. Hey, don't don't light your cigarette. No. <laughs> All right, we're pulling the pump off the drain, putting it over here on the Dell engine, and we're gonna see what happens. Stay tuned. <laughs> Did he get you? Dang, Jesse, you got full fuel on you. Dude, truck a match, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the fuel pump that came off the back of the the big bazooka pump. Really not there. sure why it's not working. Mm -hmm. It ain't it isn't. Whoa, and Thanks here Jordan is bolting on the fuel pump off of the drain. Well, it does work. The pump works. Something in there. Well, I'm really not sure why this is going like we want. <sighs> so, and over here, excuse me, our understanding is there's no problem at not having a fuel pump on the back of that, right? No. We should be good. No All right. So now we're going to be on basically the same setup as what we've been running the whole time over here on our drain engine as well as the other SB2 engine. And we're hoping it runs as soon as we get the fuel hooked back up here. Here, this thing turned now. We're gonna get some baby pack fuel to it. Listen, I was iron. nervous all Listen. day and now I'm actually excited for once. Uh, Finally, we're gonna have fuel. Well, the I'm other not question. Need an Allen wrench for that. Well, the other question we gotta figure out, because we don't think our power steering was working either. We're gonna find out now. Yes. That's what, hopefully this thing runs and we can figure out if power steering, we gotta figure out what's going on. We gotta figure out what's going on. All right. Yeah. We spin it so we get some fuel pressure. Yeah, let's spin it so you get fuel pressure. Doing this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, trying to get there. Better than what we had before. Yeah. Ready? Sure. I need some gas. Ready? Yeah.
my ears are ringing. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's got some, some oomph got, to hey, it. That thing here got some long legs. <laughs> you better hope you got your bed out that. You better take your wheelbarrow with you up there. Hey, it runs. Dang it, boy. That thing right there, you can tell. Uh, you can tell. There, you, when you wrap on it and it, and it settled down time, it just sounds like, whoa, like it's big. Mm -hmm. It took all the air out of the room. <laughs> and then it's trying to like regather. Oh, man. Uh, so I guess we power steering pump ain't no good? Yeah, we ain't got no power steering. Have an idea. What's your idea? Let's pull that power steering back off. Hey, that's for just on time. You hungry? Right, let's, let's go do the same thing that we did to that. I thought we were talking about food. Well, Carry on with your, your theory. So we put the drill onto the shaft of the, of the fuel right. to turn it, and then we got fuel pressure. Right. Let's pull. Let's pull that off. Good idea, right? You pull. Let's, pull, let's separate that power steering. Put a drill on it. Let's see if we get some circulation. Okay, that is our power steering pump. Jesse just turned it with the drill, and it ain't doing nothing. We think that we have diagnosed that is the problem, and somehow that being there being an issue there was also an issue with the fuel pump. So it was, you know, wasn't getting through turning through there, and also not turning the fuel pump because we hooked the drill to the fuel pump, and it worked. But we do have this working. Everything seems to be in good shape. Do you think you heard that? Yeah, they might have. They'll have to let us know if they heard that. That's, what, that's exactly you know, what I said. It, is, you know, it ain't gonna wrap up. No, mm -hmm. I, I was like, it don't wrap up. As soon as you, yeah. when you this get this fuel back here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can tell. All right, so that is our Bristol engine. Uh, I guess we're gonna probably pull off this thing and get over here get ready to go to southern raceway and then we'll be back on this one first of next week getting ready to finish up for bristol uh thursday friday saturday of next week we'll be practice thursday racing friday saturday and then again the friday and saturday of the next week we'll be racing fifty thousand to win each race up there i think we got something we might go up there and run with them with maybe remember y'all can watch it all live on xr link is in the description you can go ahead and get signed up a month subscription gets you all of bristol uh live there every bit of it all the super late models and the support division is going to be a big time we'll be racing this weekend though uh with faithful and the dream at southern raceway so uh wish us luck there uh and we will see what happens anyway hope y'all enjoyed it let us know what you thought of the motor there that sound good to y'all and we will uh, catch you next time like comment subscribe see you later